Hey everybody, I want to cover a bit of an unusual topic for Joe's Garage, but here we have a turtle tank. Don't judge the, uh, the watercolor, it needs to be clean, that's my daughter's job. Um, I have a turtle tank and one of the two lights is out, the one on the left. I don't know if you can tell, but it's dimmer on that side than it is on this side. So I just put a brand new bulb in and it doesn't work. Uh, or it doesn't work, but it, it works, but it lights up very dimly. I tried transferring the bulb from the left to the right, because we know the right works, and the bulb lit up brilliantly. So that kind of narrows down what the problem is. Let me kind of show you what the symptom is. Let's just take this light off here, flip it upside down and show you what we're dealing with. So you see how it's just kind of flickering and very dimly lit when compared to say, this one next door. And you can tell already, vast difference, right? So that tells me right away what the problem is. The problem is actually in the starter of the light. You don't have to replace the whole fixture to fix this in most lights. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Got the light removed and over on the bench here. And just to once again illustrate the problem in case it wasn't clear, let's plug the light in. You'll see it'll flicker for a second and just kind of stop trying. Yeah, so nobody's home. So, like I said, the fix is simple. Remove the power. I'm going to take the light bulb out carefully. And this is one of those, um, actually this one, this is an old bulb, but I use uh, those uh, reptile lights because there's turtles in this tank. So again, you just take this light fixture apart. Most of them come apart. Can't say I've worked on a lot of different styles, but every one I've tried this on, pretty easy to take apart. This one just has four screws. There's one specific part that you have to replace. I think they're pretty universal based upon the bulb type. If anybody knows for sure, keep me honest in the comments. But you can buy these little starter kits on Amazon, about know, 10 bucks or so. At least they were when I bought this one. I've actually had this one sitting in drawer in anticipation of this failure for quite some time because I did have this failure in the other light that is still working. So this is what we're dealing with right here. This is the presumed defective part. So there's two mounting screws that hold it on right here. Obviously, like I said, make sure the power is unplugged when you do this. Okay. So let's take our, our new one out of the packaging. It's been sitting there so long the rubber band's disintegrated. Had to be in there for years. I'll leave a link to this in the description. I'm actually kind of curious when I ordered it now. Okay, so you can see on the old one, our black and white wires go to black and white on incoming power, respectively. So we'll just undo these wire nuts. There's black there. And if you want to be really careful, you can hook stuff up as you take it apart, just to make sure you don't get anything confused. So it's not really rocket science though. And if you ever get confused with the, there's going to be three black wires because one of them's going to the switch. You always want to break the hot with the switch. The, the hot is going to be the, the totally black wire. You'll see that one of these wires, if you look at it carefully, at least on this light, is a black with white stripes. I think this wire is either maybe done or this end is a little bit too long. Just 
try again. Oh, it's just too long, we're good. All right, so we've got the new one hooked up there. And it looks like it's just hardwired into these tombstones. And there may be a way, can you get the wires out of the tombstones? I just don't remember what I did there on the other one. Maybe I just wire nutted things. There's probably an easy way to do this. If anybody knows that these tombstones have a release mechanism, please do share. I think I'm just gonna cut the wires though, get some other wire nuts. Okay, I'm gonna mount the new starter. Haven't hooked up any of the, the red or blue wires yet, just cause I wanna get things mounted so I get the length right. Make sure you drop everything too, that's important. Okay. So again, you have blue wires here. So it's pretty straightforward, you know, blue, red goes to red, blue goes to blue, and they're all the same, so there's not much that can go wrong here. So I'm just gonna cut these off. Cut these off. This is now garbage. Get our wire strippers. Strip off a section of wire. We'll cut the new wires down to length. Strip off a section of wire. pair of linesman pliers with me, but I'm just gonna bend over that tip there. Okay, good there. Precious pair of lens and pliers. They belong in a scrap heap. Okay, there's one side. Now we'll do the red wires. Put everything back together, we should be good to go. So you can buy a whole new light kit if you want, but you really don't need to. Don't remember exactly what they cost, but a lot more than just just replacing that starter. And notice I'm not cutting the wire right at the tombstone. I'm leaving some extra room there. Just in case I make a mistake or have to do this again in the future. And for some reason, maybe the wire is messed up. I just, it's always good to plan for the future. It doesn't hurt to leave a little extra wire. You can replace the tombstones as well. If they're all burnt up for whatever reason. But I think there's different styles. That's out of scope for this video though. And no, the color of the wire nut doesn't matter here. It's okay to use a blue wire nut with red wire. So we'll just fold our, our wire in here nicely. 
so. We'll give this a little bit of compressed air. I'll put it back together. Give it a quick test as well. There we go. Let's put the bulb in, plug it in, and see what happens. It is possible this bulb is bad too, because it's one of the, the older ones, but we'll see. Look at that. Works beautifully now. So as you can see, problem solved. Now I don't know what causes these to go bad. It, if you, now this is a question for you guys to maybe chime in on the comments. If you run one of these lights with a bulb that's bad for too long, like you're not proactive in replacing the bulb, but it stays on, will that call the cause the ballast to go bad? What causes them to go bad? Old age? Something else? I don't know. Like I said, weigh in on the comments because I'm curious. Okay, got everything hooked back up. Put our new bulb in there. I am replacing the bulbs anyway, just because these are, like I said, UVB bulbs for reptiles and whatnot, and they should be replaced every six months from what I'm told. There we go. And there you have it, folks. So that's a $10 fix to a $30 or $40 problem. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check that description for a link to that starter that I used in this video.